Hey everybody, my name is Tim Russwick, and today I want to talk about the design concept that I think is specifically uh, for UI and UX as a whole. UI stands for user interface, UX stands for user experience, in case you didn't know. Uh, but it is designed to kind of help teach players the game. Now, a lot of people, when they design a user interface for a game, which is the front um, stuff that they see, right? They might have some numbers, it might have some health bars on it, it might have something. It's usually in front of the game, it's usually up right up top. When they design a UI, a lot of times what they do is they just want to say, hey, we need to tell the player what their health is, right? And so let's put that right up top. And that's what they do. And then they think, okay, well, now we need to tell them what their XP is, right? Or And they just, there's not a lot of thought to uh, the UI. And a lot of mistakes can be made here because a lot of times it's really hard to understand what the player is thinking or what they're looking at, especially if the game's not done and you don't know the core components of the game. But one of the things that I found that's really useful for me when designing UI, and I wish I had a visual aid for this, but I can't really find anything specifically that I think would be helpful, uh, is thinking about the importance of the information, that information hierarchy, as you will, uh, and then laying that out in terms of uh, biggest to smallest. So for example, if you're in a shooter game, right, you're running around shooting, the biggest piece of UI feedback that you're probably going to need in the entire game is something to let the player know they got hit, right? And a lot of games, especially uh, uh, FPS games, uh, but even like top-down shooters and that kind of thing, when you get hit, they'll flash the screen red or something like that, right? It'll be it'll be a combination of things. It'll be screen flash, it'll be screen shake, it'll be uh, knockback, it'll be character flash. Like, it'll be all those things. So it's juicy feedback when you got hit, right? Something like that takes priority over the whole screen because it's really important for them to know. But then you want to think about, okay, health is probably the second most important thing, right? If they're running out of health, you need to let them know. So maybe when they die, uh, something flashes up at the top left of the screen to let them know that they lost a chunk of health, rather than just have a bar go down. Because if you've ever played a game that's not quite finished yet, and someone gets hit, and all that happens is a bar go down, there's no screen shake, there's no screen flash, there's no knockback, there's no, there's no feedback on hit, just a bar goes down, you will not see that bar. And the reason is the player's eyeballs are looking at the game, not the UI. And you have to keep that in mind. So understand where they're looking, right? They're probably looking at their character. They're probably looking at their enemy target. If, you're, if it's in a shooter, they might look somewhere else in a different type of game. Uh, and then beyond that, where does the UI go? So a lot of people put health bars directly on the character, right? And there's a reason for that because the player's eyes are usually on the character, and because that information is so important and vital, it gets put at a place where they know they're going to look at. And like I said, then the next thing is information hierarchy is in a resource management game, um, your worker count, right? Or like the, uh, the numbers that keep you alive, like food, for example, if you have food and worker count, those might be the two most important things outside of the resources like wood, metal, iron, ore, all that stuff. You want to manage your, your, your user, your workers, and your, uh, your food, right? So those might be bigger than the other resources. Even though they're technically resources too, they might be bigger on a UI. So you want to think about, one, where the player is looking at all times. Uh, and if they're not going to be looking at your UI and you can't put your UI where, you, where they're looking, you want to make some effect to distract them. And then, two, you want to think about information hierarchy or the importance of information, what is the most important and what is the least important. Order all of the information on your UI, and what you might find is that some of the stuff on the UI doesn't even need to be there, right? Like some of the actual stuff that you thought was important might not even need to be there. It can be on a hidden menu somewhere. So for example, the build cost of a certain building in a resource management game, and I keep using resource management because it's what I built for Ludum Dare, so I just went through all this. Uh, but you may not need the building and the build cost and all the details right there of the building, right? You might just need the little building icon. Then you click on the building icon and then it might show the build cost and the description, for example. Uh, so you may not need all the information on screen and the information hierarchy kind of helps you figure out what's more important uh, and, you know, kind of how you can organize it all. So that's all I got for you today. I just want to leave a quick tip on information hierarchy and, um, thinking about your UI in different terms, not just 
putting a bunch of stuff on screen, which is what a lot of people do, but actually thinking about it in terms of what's important to communicate to the player and how to do so. So if you like this video, leave me a thumbs up. If you hate it, leave me a thumbs down. Double tap that thumbs down if you hate it, because uh, I don't unlike it anyway. Uh, but my name is Tim Roswick. Let me know your thoughts down below. I will see you again tomorrow.